Luger seems like he's down on his luck. You and me will have to work extra hard to compensate. Wow. I never imagined that'd be how I'd run into Ivor again. How do you even know that freak? And why does he drop down on people like that? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> how can you laugh about it, Luger? He knocked you on your butt like it was nothing. Uh, Ivor's a very skilled warrior. As Maxwell's handmaid, he had to be. Maxwell's handmaid? It's kind of a long story. I see. Sounds complicated. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Even though we both wanted the same thing. Go meow before she rubs off on us. I yeah. Let's try to find the missing cats. That way, Rolla will have more friends.
Just try to take over your account, you know. But I fought them all off for you. Wow, look at all the different shops. Duval is a market town. They say you can buy just about anything here. Huh, everyone's yelling about how cheap their stuff is. How much lower are the prices here? Well, I'm sure they try to make them as cheap as possible, but, you know, there are larger issues. Hmm. I know how to make things cheaper. You gotta cut the prices yourself. You mean by haggling with them? I've seen people do it, but I've never tried it myself. Is that what they call it? You shouldn't be afraid to try it. It's really easy. You just take the corner of the price tag and... rip! Uh... Huh? Well... L? You can't just tear a digit off the price tag. That's not haggling at all.
So someone's looking for Julius? I wonder who. Your clothes sure smell nice. What's that smell from? Do they? I don't do anything special. It's probably just the fabric softener. be a slog. Give me the goods and I'll give you the slip. Easy peasy. Thank you. 
Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Nothing to see here. Move along. What the heck are you doing, Leia? Jude? Were you talking to that kitty? Not exactly. I need to catch it for a special assignment. I thought you were a newspaper reporter, Leia. What gives? I told you it's a special assignment. Julius. 
Julius? Uh-huh. That's his name. Julius Constantine the third. That's Julius? Uh-huh. The third one, apparently. I've been asking all over about this cat. So, the person asking a lot of questions about Julius is Leia. Anyhow, thanks, guys. This cat belongs to our biggest advertiser. Uh, where are my manners? This is Luger Kresnik. My name's Elle, and this here is Rolo. I'm Leia Rolando. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. So, Leia, are you a cat catcher? Huh? No way! I'm a newspaper reporter. Think of me as a truth catcher. It's an honorable job. Speaking of, have you heard anything about the train hijacking? That right there is the story of the decade. Last I heard, they put out a warrant for that spurious bigwig. Julius Kresnik, I think? Wait a minute. Julius Kresnik? Did you step into trouble again? But Luger is... I know, I know. He's a friend of yours. Come on! Huh? Duval! I have an informant there. She's super duper in the know. So I'll introduce you guys. Oh, right! Now we're getting somewhere! You got sick of being a pampered pet and decided to explore the great outdoors. Sure, sure. I feel you, kitty. Take it from me, though. This world is nothing but one big litter box. Ivor? He's talking to what's-his-name the third. Quick, grab that cat for me! Huh? Ah! And there it goes. See that? Even the deadliest creatures run in fear of my mighty weapon! Don't be afraidy, cat. Thanks. <laughs> I bet you don't even know which end is up on that thing. You better nail this, because it's not hammering time! Uh, power sway, hey! <laughs> Too close. Terrorsman. Power swing. Too close. Power swing. Dragon Fury. Power swing. Too close. Crushing blow. Terrorsman. Crushing blow. Too close. Crushing too close. Too close. Too close. Hey, he's up. Wall. This is nothing. Crushing wall. Too close! 
I do know which end is which, but I'm warning you. Don't go swinging that thing around town. Some people have no consideration, I swear. So Ivor's working here in Olympias. What are you gonna do about the cat? Oh, come on. We have more important things to worry about, don't we? Now, off to Duval. We've really developed a knack for these jobs. Maybe we're more cut out for this stuff than we think. So how about that linked arm we dig back there, huh? It's like our hearts were beating in perfect harmony. Whoa, that's kind of beautiful when you think about it. Great work out there. Today was another tough one, huh? You know, there's nothing I love more than a hard worker. So here, I got this for you. It sure is a relief to have you around at times like this. This would be a lot harder without your support. So here. It's my way of saying thanks for, you know, oh, just take it already. When you're around, I have to admit, it puts me so at ease I could just doze right off. But I gotta stay up late working on my article. Luger! Bam! Got you something! It's a surprise gift! <laughs> Were you surprised? We've been through an awful lot lately. And I don't know that I could still smile like this if it weren't for you. Oh man, that sounded pretty heavy. Let me dial it down a notch and just say thanks a bunch. Hey, the other day I was texting with my mom, right? And she said she's getting worried about my job since all I ever talk to her about is you. I wish I could be as big a presence in your life as you are in mine, you know? So if you ever get down about anything, let me know, okay? We'll get through it together. I promise, I'll always be there for you, anytime, any place. I heard back from my informant. She said she's waiting at Duval Station. Exclusive expose, the terrible untold truth behind terrorist train tragedy. Investigative journalist Leia Rolando unravels the shocking mystery. Leia, what are you writing? Just jotting down some notes for an article. An article? You're like a reporter! Hey, there's no like about it. But those aren't articles, they're just dramatic headlines. You can't write a story to match a predetermined conclusion. Hey, professional journalists don't accept unsolicited advice from amateurs, mister. So as a professional, are you hitting your deadlines? You can't just copy off my homework the morning before class like you used to. Zip it, Jude. Why do you hate the free press so much? What does any of this have to do with the free press? I'm talking about professional responsibility here. What's with Jude and Leia? They're like... Married? <laughs> Whatever could you be talking about? Seriously now, do we really look like that? Wow, Leia's strong. Oh, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. In Leia's case, the staff is mightier than the pen. I figured you were a no-show. Sorry I'm late. So, uh, this is your informant? Yep, Jude, meet Jolene. Call me whatever you want, cutie. Anyway, you know why we're here. The train hijacking, right? Maybe I know something, maybe I don't. I'm guessing it depends on whether we have money or info to trade, right? Hey. So that's the real story. 
It's true. I saw it all, too. Oh, no. Good stuff. Guess it's my turn to share. Word on the street is Brot's been funneling a certain something something to Exodus. Brot? That's the name of the government around these parts, right, Jolene? Supposedly. Meaning? No dice. I like living. What are they sending? Weapons? Nope. Guess again. Spirit fossils and boosters. Say what now? That's right, kids. The next-gen stuff that's supposed to replace current Spyrex technology. Whoa. Stop the press. This guy looks familiar. I suppose he does. This is Jude Mathis, the Spyrite researcher. Mom always wanted me to meet a doctor. You make me feel all chatty. Oh, Jude, you're like a celebrity. Rumor has it there's a demon prowling the alleyways of Duval. He looks just like a regular guy on the outside, but I hear he's hiding some monstrous power. He uses it to stalk his prey. <laughs> glasses guy. Word is, even some of Brat's heavies have fallen victim. I just wrote it off as an urban legend, but maybe it's connected to the train hijacking after all. <laughs> Put it out of your mind. Put it out of your mind. Are you having trouble dealing with the train incident? That certainly was scary. No, it's not that. I can't forget those pictures on Luger's wall. They were so horrible. Oh. The wanted posters? I imagine Ivor stuck them up after he snuck in. Wanted posters? Were those supposed to be some twisted version of Luger and Glasses Guy? I'm not sure if that was the intention. Did you see them, Luger? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Get that out of here! I'm trying to forget! <laughs> Odd that they're in the same style as the wanted posters in Riza Maxia. Why don't they just use photos? Luger, take a picture of yourself and bring it to the police. Maybe they'll replace it if you ask. What? Illustrations are supposed to be better at conveying the true essence of the subject. Or so I've heard. So that's the true essence of Luger and Glasses Guy? That's even scarier than their creepy spear forms. Really? Maybe when criminals are confronted with these wanted posters, a lot of them crack and turn themselves in. So how did you meet this informant person? Well, you know what they say. Swim with sharks, wake up with fleas. Wait, is that how it goes? Demon of the alleyways, stalking brought members. Uh, I'm not scared. So is this the demon's stomping grounds? I really hope it's not. What, are you scared? No way, I ain't a fraidy cat. Besides, it might help us get to Canaan. But it's not the only thing I'm curious about. What reason does Exodus have for gathering the materials to make spyrites? What's that, Chief? Did someone say spyrites? If you find folks have got the gall to spend, then I've got the goods. You mean to say you're peddling spirit fossils? You bet. Only lesser spirit class ones, though. Speaking of that, have you heard anything about people gathering spirit fossils recently? Don't beat around the bush. You mean Exodus, right? Don't move, Dr. Mathis. We're taking you into custody unless you try something foolish. In broad daylight? Doesn't matter. <laughs> These men. Brought agents.
just happened? Wait a minute. Hey, what's the matter, buddy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I get why you and Exodus hate me so much, but if you can't trust us, then at least trust in the Spyrites. That's all I ask of you. We're so close to making them work. Curse that Jolene. She must have ratted us out. Show no mercy. They're probably all Rizamaxians. <sighs> no mercy. Very well. friend and traveling buddy. Rowan's super smart. He knows everything. So he knows where the land of Canaan is? The land of Canaan, you say? That's right, old timer. It's a magical place that grants people wishes. Do tell. <laughs> well, I got a wish for that Canaan place to grant. Death to all Riza Maxia scum. Every last one of them. Anybody who looks at you art-wielding monsters and thinks you're people like us is crazy. Quite right. Ah! Don't look! Rowan, what did you just do? Need you ask? Elise, Gaius, Lady Drissel, I must avenge their deaths. I must atone for dispelling the schism. No, not like this. <sighs> Those two must perish as well. This man isn't Rowan. Truly, every last Olympian must be sent to their doom. Be careful, he's not the Rowan we know. <laughs> Yeah, it's working him. We run! Power swing! Power swing! Wind runs! Focus! Power swing! Yeah. Crushing ball! Strength to protect. This is the result of my hard work. Heck yeah! People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, they must be hiding around here somewhere, so find them. 
What did you monsters do? It's more of that spirit art trickery. You really are monsters, aren't you? That's enough. And who the hell are you? <gasps> You're going to tell me something. Why is Exodus so intent on gathering spyrite materials? Imagine if they unleashed an out-of-control spyrite on the world. Everyone would see the danger in it. Public support would vanish in a flash. <gasps> Indeed they would. The plan is a cunning one. Hold on a sec. You're... you're not gonna kill us? We're not the monsters you think we are. Nothing changes overnight. It would appear that hatred of Riza Maxia runs deep within the veins of this city. Maybe you could go to the land of Canaan and wish the hate away. Beg pardon? The land of Canaan is a magical place that grants wishes for people. <laughs> Quite the locale, that. Alas, the power to alter men's hearts in the blink of an eye would be frightening indeed. We could easily wish away that which makes us human. It's okay. These two are the real deal. Rowan, Gaius, thank you. Erston. Huh? At the moment, I'm just a man about town, much like any other. Please, call me Erston. His Highness is traveling incognito to get a sense of public opinion in Olympias. Can you really do that? I mean, you are the King of Riza Maxia. King? I've never gotten to see a real king before. My pleasure. He can be as stubborn as a child, this one. What was that, Rowan? Nothing. Hey, I just thought of something. Do you think that demon of the alleyways was gut... I mean, Erston here? I mean, it could have been, but the scary Rowan looked like the glasses guy, too. The scary me? Well, you see... Interesting. It would seem you've gotten yourselves wrapped up in some sort of paranormal phenomena. Your thoughts, Rowan? Something's afoot. Based on? A hunch. Good enough for me. Now get to the bottom of it. As you wish. Would you be so kind as to allow me to accompany you henceforth? I'm Rowan Ilbert. A pleasure to make your acquaintances. Jude. I know. I can't let Exodus get me down. I'll perfect the Spyrite tech and prove them wrong. Let's pay Balin a visit. We conducted spyrite research together back in Helioborg. 